At this year's edition of IDEF, Istanbul's main defense exhibition, Turkey unveiled what officials called its most powerful non-nuclear aircraft bomb to date. The weapon, named Gazap, Turkish for wrath, is a roughly one-ton thermobaric fragmentation bomb that several outlets described as a major increase in destructive power for conventional air-dropped munitions. A related weapon, the Neb-2 Hayalet, or Ghost, was shown alongside it as a deep penetration bunker buster. In today's video, we're taking a closer look at what was revealed at IDEF, how thermobaric effects work, where the claims stand, and what remains unknown before Gazap enters wider service. Let's dive in. According to official and mainstream reports from the show floor, Gazap is a 970-kilogram class bomb presented as Turkey's most powerful non-nuclear aerial munition to date. Officials highlighted integration with F-16 and said qualification and certification are complete. Neb-2 Hayalet, shown at the same venue, was described as a heavy penetrator for hardened targets. Both weapons were introduced under the National Defense Ministry's Research and Development Program during IDEF 2025. Technical reporting identifies Gazap as a MK-84 class fragmentation bomb with a thermobaric energetic fill. Published specifications list a length of about 2.6 meters, a diameter of roughly 460 millimeters, and an all-up mass around 907 kilograms, carrying approximately 453 kilograms of TBX energetic composition. After release, it follows a ballistic free-fall trajectory, stabilized by tail fins. The warhead is designed to disperse on the order of 10,000 preformed fragments, with a reported fragment density near 10.16 per square meter across the lethal footprint. Turkish coverage contrasts this against legacy MK series bombs commonly sited around three fragments per square meter, indicating a much denser fragment field over a wider area. In plain terms, the design pairs a long-duration thermobaric blast and high heat with a very thick cloud of fragments to increase lethality against personnel in the open, in cover, and inside structures. Thermobaric munitions disperse an aerosolized fuel that mixes with atmospheric oxygen before detonation. The result is a longer-duration pressure wave and very high local temperatures, which can be especially damaging in confined spaces such as bunkers, tunnels, caves, and urban interiors where reflections and oxygen depletion intensify effects. In open terrain, the added fragmentation helps maintain effectiveness beyond the core blast radius, which is why Gazap's fragment density figures feature prominently in Turkish reporting. Neb-2 is positioned as the complementary option to Gazap. Where Gazap prioritizes wide area effects, Neb-2 focuses on penetration against reinforced concrete and buried infrastructure using a forged steel body and delayed fusing to burrow before detonation. Public reporting places Neb-2 in the same 2,000-pound class and notes a thermobaric energetic fill for post-penetration effects. Exact penetration figures vary by outlet and test condition and have not been published in a standardized manufacturer data sheet, so they should be treated as indicative until official documentation is released. State and mainstream outlets say Gazap can be carried by F-16s, which aligns with its MK-84 class form factor and mass. The show model was presented as a free-fall munition, Jane's notes compatibility with MK-84 guidance kits, which implies potential for a guided configuration, but Turkey has not yet detailed a Gazap-specific guided version or published SEP figures. Until an official kit is shown, Gazap should be treated as a ballistic bomb optimized for fixed targets, troop concentrations, and infrastructure, with Neb-2 reserved for hardened facilities, where penetration before detonation matters most. Several important details are not yet public. 
Not all sources agree on the exact all-up mass and fill weights, reflecting the difference between the published about 907 kilograms and the 970 kilograms used in official statements and headlines. Detailed effects tables for fragment count by range, temperature and overpressure profiles, and any guidance options have not been released. For NEB 2, claimed concrete and rock penetration depths vary by outlet and testing conditions. Until standardized manufacturer data sheets are published, these specifics should be treated with caution. If fielded at scale, a one-ton thermobaric fragmentation bomb gives Turkey a relatively low-cost way to generate large area effects against entrenched forces, air defense sites, and logistics nodes, particularly in urban or fortified settings where conventional high explosive can be less efficient. Pairing Gazap with a heavy penetrator in NEB2 simplifies loadout planning and expands target options without changing aircraft or carriage class. For perspective, some headlines called Gazap the world's most powerful non-nuclear weapon. But the more accurate framing is that it is Turkey's most powerful non-nuclear aerial bomb and among the strongest thermobaric fragmentation munitions in the one-ton class. Much heavier non-nuclear weapons exist, such as the USGBU 43B Moab at roughly 9.8 metric tons, and Russia has publicized a larger thermobaric device with disputed details. Keeping the comparison within weight class and design type makes the claim meaningful while staying accurate. Gaza, Turkey's most powerful non-nuclear aerial bomb, is built for wide area lethality through a thermobaric fill and dense fragmentation, with NEB-2 offered as a deep strike complement against hardened targets. The fundamentals are clear, but key details still need confirmation, including full effects tables, any guided variants, and standardized penetration data for NEB-2. As more official information is released, we will update this review with confirmed specifications and how they are used in practice. But we'd like to hear from you for now. Is a one-ton thermobaric fragmentation bomb a smart addition to modern air power, or are precision standoff weapons the better investment? Let us know in the comments below. And if you found this video insightful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for the latest defense news and analysis.